Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration, but Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. I also give orders to let you rest and for the staff to never enter your room. You will, you will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed and work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiment here at your own pace. You also notice there is an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter exit the hospital without being noticed. Imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your speech to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured, I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you are not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times we are all presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, Pembroke my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. Uh, Edgar Griffith Swansea. P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I've discovered about Econ in the last few years. Feel free to read it, but if you need some guidance, as long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. Cool. Great. Thank you so much. Man, that was a lot. That was a lot to go through there. Can I shave? Can I dash up there? Nice, I can. And I don't have anything to do with those. Okay. <sighs> Wait a minute. How much of my data has been saved? Recovering. Yeah, okay, I got all the different uh, things about them. So do I have something to cure fatigue? I don't remember. Because I was going to give him something to help cure his fatigue was the first thing I wanted to do. So, sedatives. So I have no treatment for fatigue. Okay. So. Can I not make any treatments for fatigue right now? Is that what it was? Because I want to. I remember that much. Um, sodium hypochlorite solution. I don't have any of that. What is that? Lots of people. Whoops. Sorry. Don't just ignore my ignore the way I'm acting. It's not important. Please, Jonathan, come in. Ah, yes, Shakespeare, my favorite. To be or not to be. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. 
And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Okay, well... Because we're going outside, I think this calls for... A change of clothes. This is my doctor's clothes, you know, when I'm inside the study and stuff, you know. But, when I go out, every time, we shall watch a loading scene. That's right. I'm not joking. I'm legitimately not joking. We are going to be watching a loading scene every time I go out. Why? Because I'm going for the realism, goddammit. I'm going for the realism. Before we go to bed, we're going to change our clothes. Before we go out into the world to kill vampires and other bad things, I'm going to change my clothes. My only wish is that this wasn't what you had to fucking sit through every goddamn time. Like, I don't know, this is just the PlayStation, you know? Like, the PlayStation that I have is just slow loading, you know? But then, like, the PlayStation 4 Pro or whatever is, like, way better at loading and stuff. Or if it's like this for everyone, you know? In either case, this is annoying and not something I want to deal with. That's why I need a PC. A PC, guys. <sighs> okay. Now, shall we head out? I'm still wearing the same cap and stuff. I'm just wearing like a different cloak. Like honestly, that's all you're doing. You're just wearing a different cloak and you're wearing a hat. That's it. That's all you're changing up and it takes you that long to load it up. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. Okay, what is this? Do I have a map or something I can check what that is? Terry Gwyneth Branding about medical error. Oh, okay. Where's Gwyneth Branigan? Sean Hampton. I'll ignore it for now. Let's just go talk to the people here. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. Yep. You're a vampire. <clears throat> the lady who saved me that night. Before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. Gonna to say that in front of the patient? My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well. In spite of the brevity of our encounter. Well, he's still alive. Tossing and turning. Apologies. You? You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope really you're now. more disposed to answer my questions now. 
You must have countless questions. But our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Right next to a patient, by the way. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this What's hospital, up? you are in an excellent position okay. to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. I'll be back. One second. Okay, so yeah, I just got a burger, or I just got a burger made for me, but I just want to let you guys know, if you guys notice like a significant increase in quality or something, and by that I mean my stream not dropping down to very low, it's because now I'm using an ethernet cable to stream, which I think is a lot more stable than wireless, and I'm out of breath. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you Oh, I got very bad circular yourself, system right now. As a mortal Ooh. tradition doth dictate... All fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Okay. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? Mm, if that was the case, really nice. I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your... Mm. Condition. Oh, mm. Mm. So with that, mm. that was a very audible bite that I took. Holy shit! Um, it's her. It was that woman I saw earlier? Um, yeah. Sorry. 
Uh, first off, my mother threw one of the hugest fucking slices of tomatoes on that burger there. That's insanely big slice. But I don't mind it. Oh, look at that. Now we can build uh, the uh, thing. Well, bitch, tell me what you got. What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. Ha! <laughs> How brave! Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many violent undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was it a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cats <laughs> is a poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. Oh, well, that's great. I assure you, man, Let's not this is piss not her off. an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Okay. Fine nurse Pippa Hawkins, Dorothy Crane, and Gwyneth Barangan. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Okay, so one is downstairs somehow, and one is walking past me right now. Wait, where is she? Oh, she's supposed to be here. Okay, so I don't know where this woman is, but we're just going to go outside then and talk to one of the people out here. Pippa Hawkins, Milton Honks. Oh, it's these two people, isn't it? <laughs> Harris, shut up. Good evening, Miss Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. Go, go see what it is then. I don't care. Let's let's get to know her a bit. Um, never mind. Never mind. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Okay. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Okay. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of oh, okay, the nothing. during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that. Okay, back. Goodbye, nurse. 
I have to move on here with another You drop so many times. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm blight, sir. Mutant blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Yeah, I'll just up the stairs. Down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. Where was Good. your friend the last time you saw him? Running to the canal. canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. T treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm What's Oswald's there? best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. Okay. Taking care Shit. of each other since we came Button back. fell off my burger. Ooh, and some of my lettuce. No, stay on there. Please. Mm, there we go. Butcher friend. Can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Okay. Oswald is nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. Oh. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Okay. So. Don't worry. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck him. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. You tell me that one girl didn't notice us right there. Well, let's go. A rat in the hospital. Not only do we have a rat in the hospital, we also have rats in the sewers, apparently. I just want to say I'm sorry right now. Because I'm sure no one likes to listen to people eat food. Right? And I am definitely one of the last people you'd want to listen to eat food. But I'm hungry, okay? I don't eat anything. He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. You're a vampire, dude. Just dash through it. Oh, that's right. You can't dash through things. You just run really fast. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor.
There we go. Yeah, I don't plan on really drinking too much blood anymore. I'm gonna... Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Where's this guy? No, he's not here. Okay. Gotta run quick, you gotta be quick. We can still save him. Let's go, huh? Oh. Oh, that's right. I haven't switched my weapon yet. There you go. Oh, he doesn't know what it's anything. At least in this whole... He doesn't... Shit. I'm fucking up my dodge. I'm pressing X to dodge instead of fucking... What the fuck was that? I don't know what I was doing. Okay, there we go guys, it's the end of my burger eating time, so I don't have to worry about that anymore, but well, that was really stupid of me, I don't know what I was doing, I was just flubbing up everything. We gotta be hurt quick about this. We don't want this guy to die. Okay, we'll investigate everything afterwards. I gotta be a little bit more careful with my attacks, that's why. I'm running out of stamina too quickly. Bullets? Nope. Nope, nothing. Okay, we gotta kill this guy. I should really fix this, because this knife doesn't really do me any good. I won't be really using... Well, I mean, I said I wouldn't be sucking much blood. Because that's kind of a lie now, isn't it? I'll probably do a playthrough or something where I don't suck any blood at all. <laughs> What's up, the pal? You're dead now. I'm gonna do a playthrough where I essentially try and deny the vampire within me as much as possible. Meaning, I don't use any vampire powers. Um, uh, I mean, blood sucking, healing, nothing of that. Okay. Making it really difficult to win and survive. But, it's alright, because I'm good. There we go. Are you injured, sir? I was trying to do something else. Of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. 
Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. You rescue Sydney, will turn to the district the, the following night. Okay. Bullets? Nope. Sodium hypochlorite solution. Well, that's nice. I can be used for some of my, um, uh, what is it called? Some of my... Shit, I didn't... Fuck. I didn't want to leave. God damn it. I didn't mean to leave. I thought that was like a door that I could open up. But of course not. Why do they do this to me? Vampire, what is your fucking problem? Honestly. Can you believe this shit, Paris? Can you believe this shit? See the shit that to go through with Paris? You see that? That's stupid. That's really stupid, Paris. You know how stupid that is, Paris? Extremely stupid. Ugh. Man. Here we go. Now we're back. A rat in the hospital. Just have him open up the door and go in there. Why do you have to fucking completely unload this area and then load up the other area? That's so stupid. That's so stupid. You can heal aggravated damage by using your autophagy ability, drinking human blood, or resting. Great. I'll be sure to fix it by resting when I do my special playthrough. So, yeah, I think I'll do two more playthroughs of this game after this one. Whether or not I'll stream it or try and record it, I think I'll probably just stream it. Recording's a little bit difficult currently because of my laptop status, which is not good at all. So that's why I stream using the PlayStation software, PlayStation mic, and not my own laptop software or anything like OBS, which is just so much nicer. So, but... Yeah, you know, what do you do? You don't have a ch choice, you know. Work with what you got. There you go. There we go. He's down. I almost accidentally ate a rat, which I didn't want to do. Actually, no, I don't care. I'll eat rats. For this playthrough, I'm not going to eat humans. For the next playthrough... Fuck, I didn't realize it automatically reloaded. For the next playthrough, I'm not going to eat uh, anything. And then for the final playthrough, I'm going to eat everyone and everything. So... It's going to be the playthrough you're going to want to watch. I guarantee it. Yeah. I'll only eat rats and bad people. That's the deal. No humans allowed in this mouth. Well, let's run. Oh, nope. Let's pick up this first. Sodium hypochlorite solution. Wow, you get a lot of that stuff. And you get a lot of bullets, too. How do I reload? Okay. I... Nope. I got shotgun shells. Why did I get... Oh, I still don't have a shotgun yet, which kind of sucks. No, I don't need it. <clears throat> what sort of creature is Can you lock on, please? Play into his neck. See how good he takes. There you go, get one cut off, drain his blood a bit. This one's like the casual use of my vampiric abilities. Ooh, shit, I don't have any more bullets left. Alright, so I did. This is gonna be hard to do without 
ever healing. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, it's gonna be very difficult to do without consuming anyone or healing, but... I'm gonna really need to work on getting that. There we go. Get some blood back. Use this guy. And heal up a bit. Also need to start doing some more damage, too. I find I'm just playing the defensive game a lot. I remember, I'm a vampire. Oh, it's gonna be impossible to do without fucking vampiric abilities. Stamina gen super slow. It sucks. Okay. Oh, heal up. I'm gonna run away for a second. Okay, here. Drain his blood, and then heal up very quickly. Oh, man. That was a close one. So, what happened to this poor bastard? What's left of him. Not a lot to check. If you're sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothea to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Prestescu's house and present this coupon. Uh, okay. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Okay. Wow, I can really dash hard, can't I? Sorry, I need the health, guys. Yeah, I need the health. Give it. Give me the health. Give me the health. Give me the health. There you go. <sighs> oh, autophagies. Two, one. Now heal again. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> I apologize. That was not an easy fight. Not an easy fight at all. Not an easy fight at all. I'm gonna dump out this tea bag now. There we go. I just wanna give you guys a tip here. Guys, if you guys are a fan of tea like I am, right, and you guys you you know you use tea bags and stuff, don't ever leave tea unintended or unattended to for more than a day. And uh, especially don't leave it unattended to for about a week or more. Uh, because it's at that point that things, uh, it's, it's probably on actually the second or third day when things start to get a little bit gross. Uh, by the week, and, uh, that's when shit's disgusting. Um, yeah, I looked at my Keurig, I have a Keurig machine in my room, and I looked over at it, and I noticed that there was a, oh, I have healing files, I didn't realize that. But I looked over and I realized that, uh, I have, uh, I had a cup there, and I was like, oh, I wonder if that cup's full. If not, I'll use it to make some tea, because I'm kind of thirsty right now. And so I, I looked at the cup, and when I looked into it, I noticed that, oh, there's something that shouldn't be in there in it. And what it was, was a crap ton of mold, like the most mold I'd ever seen. It was so disgusting. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, that's, that's my tip to you for today, guys. Don't leave tea unattended for a while, because it, it starts growing mold. Once it starts growing mold, it looks so, it's so bad. Like, honestly, it's it's deadly at that point. It's really, it was gross. It was like a nice layer of mold that was on top of it. I threw out the cup, so. And when I say that, I don't mean the cup of tea. I mean the entire cup itself, as one should when it has been contaminated with that much mold. Um, it was really gross. You know what? If you're talking about never seeing people, so many people die at the same time, it's probably not a good, good for us. I mean, definitely not the best hospital in that case. 
Oh, we've got screws, we've got lead sticks. Uh, actually, I can go up here. Make myself some stuff. Um, I can make serums. Generate 300 health. Yeah, that's pretty important for me. But do I have anything I can break down? Yes. Let's get some cures for fatigue. Um, some cures for anemia. And then sepsis. Um, so I got three for fatigue, two for anemia, and none for sepsis. But I need more ferocious tartarate and sodium hypochlorite solution, so. Well, let's just move out then. Please don't be a loading screen. Enter at your own risk. To the citizens of London, curfew. Official health warning. Curfew will be sound at 9 p.m. by the church bells. All citizens must keep out the streets from that time until 5 a.m. Till further notice, the citywide curfew has been implemented. as imperative that you wear a mask to prevent the spread of infection. If any member of your household becomes ill, inform the authorities immediately. Due to curfew not open after 9 p.m. Okay. I see. I think I can take this guy. I already lost. You're kidding me. Level don't mean shit in this world where I'm the best. That's bad, I think. Hmm. You know, when the game said not drinking the blood of humans will make the game much more difficult. It wasn't lying. Wow, okay. It's gonna make it's gonna make my uh defiance run so much more interesting, won't it? Absolute denial of my vampirage. Uh, that's that's a little bit uh, a little bit uh, terrifying to think of, but uh, oh well. Okay, look at that. I'm back. Let's go back there, except this time not, you know, die. We got three thousand something XP. At least when you die, you don't lose your XP. That's nice. I talk to this guy? Ooh, fuck me, are you kidding? What makes you think that? Why am I a leech, huh? Ooh, what the fuck is this shit? I do not like that. Ooh, okay. How did he know I was a leech? That doesn't make any sense. Can you please switch targets? Let's see what this game's problems are coming into light now. Oh my god, this fucking game. The lock-on system is not doing me very good right now. It's really not doing me any good right now. Man, you got this fucking loading screen. Every time. Oh my god. Right? Like, my PlayStation is going into overdrive trying to play this game. It's absolutely ridiculous.
district status serious. Oh, fuck off. I'm not dealing with that level 18. Are you kidding me? That's just ridiculous. And I have no ammo with my gun. Maybe I should go stop by the stockpile and see if I got anything in there. You're trying to kill me, so I don't care at this point. If you're trying to kill me, you don't deserve to live. That's the way it works. I'm just a normal person, just like you and anyone else in this world. Okay. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, huh? How would you enjoy that, huh? Fight his neck first. Drain his blood. Ooh, look at that nice dodge, huh? Guard the freedom of us all during the Royal Fleet today. Great. Your king country needs you to join the British ranks, help the brave lads at the front. Interesting. So does that mean they're having trouble trying to get people to enlist, or what? Like, what does that mean? I was I can go into? Well, nope, we got some shillings. Five shillings, I don't know. Is that a lot, I guess? Doesn't feel that way. Um, I feel like right now I'm kind of underleveled. Mainly because I haven't went back to up... To, like, level up yet. Ooh, a little bit of framey here. A little framey. You're my biggest threat right now, so I'm gonna kill you first. Yep, and he's dead. Again, only take the blood of bad people. That's the way this vampire works. And these people aren't exactly nice right now. Ooh, fuck. Take the blood. And he's dead. Give me bullets. Why aren't you giving me bullets, guys? Jesus. He's resistant against blood and melee. Good to know. Let's go kill Zena. I already fought one of these guys, so I know what they're like. And very dangerous, that's for sure. Frenzied mode, which is not good for me. Cause that, I think that means he's a little bit more reckless. There's a whole idea behind that. A little bit more reckless, but also a little bit more injured too, it seems. No! Fuck off! Fuck this game. Fuck this guy. Really?
fucking dodging backwards does nothing in this game. Dodging backwards is fucking pointless. Like, dodge forward, guys. There you guys go. Oh, look at that. My stream went bad for a little bit there. It's not great. And it took it three minutes to bounce back. Interesting. Oh, that's fucking stupid. It's really stupid. But I think we need to go fucking rest and level up a bit. God damn, this game is annoying. And of course it doesn't really help that uh, that sword doesn't do much. I mean, for a one-handed weapon... For a one-handed weapon, I guess it's good, but... Can't say I'd recommend it to anyone. Oh, now I'm fucking surrounded by them. God damn it. Blood up. There we go. And then just use it all like that. Drain some blood from him. Get as much blood as I can actually out of this guy. Why not? There we go. Get as much blood as I can. Get some bullets. No. Let's go. Come on. You have to go into frenzy mode. Yes. There you go. Yeah, it does really no damage from, doesn't it? Oh, baby. Water sturdy blood sample. How much XP did that give me? Five. Hmm. Not fun to think about. This isn't London, yeah, curfew warning, great. So, nice not get 5 XP per beast. Doesn't matter how good he is, doesn't matter how strong he is, just 5 per animal. That's absolutely ridiculous. Step away, sir. This is no place for you, sir. Oh, shit, that's good. He's very good. At uh, withstanding damages and stuff. Get some blood from you. He's dead. Ooh, and he got injured right to that. I'll take your blood, and uh, how about I kill you with your own blood? Just kidding. Yeah. 
God damn it, I run with Samus so quick with this weapon. Of course, he doesn't get staggered by anything. That's why it's called Roger the Wall. But, guess what? Roger the Wall? I don't care what kind of wall you are. You are dying right now. And aluminum powder is all you got for me. Really? I go through those hard fights at my level. Level 5, so it's not an easy fight. You know? It's not an easy fight, guys. Trust me. I would know. Anyways, I think we've destroyed this entire base, right? Which means it's probably going to be even worse than it already is. In terms of, like, you know, vampiric strength here. So it's not really good for us. We truly are they just blocked. helping. We're, we're really just helping out the vampires right now, is what we're doing. Which I don't really agree with, but. <sighs> Let's go. Whitechapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Wait, what is this? Uh, your king country needs you. Join the British ranks, help the brave lads at the front. Nah, I'm good. I've already paid my time, paid my dues. Wow. Are you alright? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything, it ain't me. Medication and drugs are a rare commodity in East London. So you picked an easy target, didn't you? Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Oh, I don't know. I can mesmerize him. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Let's find out. If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Mm hmm. Goodbye, young man. Who's this young Shooting sir? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. H who are you? I'm Dr. Reed. And I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Migraine. Treatment for migraine. Cure with blank. Okay. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live. And this is where I live now. You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife, Albert Smala. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. Okay. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. Now I'm just Ben. Ben the Tramp. 
Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. Everything's coming up roses. Oh, so there we go. We got a little thing. That's a son. Whatever the boy did, I'm why did sure you shot this boy? A public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just he just faked me last nerve. Why did you shot this boy? What the fuck is this? Fix it, guys. Come on. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. Coward. Okay, here we go. Put me in a strike jacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. Oh, I was doing bad again. But not that bad. And it seems it's only going bad for like three minutes at a time, which is nice to know, I guess. Yes. Sounds like shell shock. I've seen a few cases like yours. This is nothing you should be ashamed of, Benjamin. And it's perfectly natural in your situation. I'm not ashamed. I just need my pills. Peace and quiet, that's all. Do you know Come. Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I'll be searching for her too. I need some pills, but the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? The word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. That's what out of personal questions a can gun, ask. alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. I feel like they're talking oh, to each other boy. secretly. I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Oh, I thought I got a hint for that. Goodbye, young man. I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. Ah, something to eat. <laughs> <sighs> Delicious. Like a little... What is it? It's like a little whatever. I don't know. I wonder just how bad actually eating the mice is in this game. Like, if eating the mice... Oh, he has fatigue. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, alright? Now piss off. What happened? Did you hey, medicate? Sort of. It's true. I said. Goodbye, young fan. Maybe I took the wrong path or something. I don't know. We'll have to try. If we play this game again, which I said I probably would, we'll just give it a shot and see what happens. This elixir will give you faith. What elixir? Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Let's see. Who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region Just itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Okay. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. He's healthy and too high of a level for me to mesmerize. Interesting. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. 
Which is Swamp Bear Cordial with the list of ingredients printed in Latin. This item will be recycled into components. I mean, what don't I have? I think I need Ferocious Tartarate, right? Yeah, I need Ferocious Tartarate, if I'm correct. So let's see if we can pick up some of that. Ran for shortage of legal medications. I mean, they used opium again. Strong Basilican. Okay. We need. We need, first off, most of this. But. Buy one of those, we'll buy one of these. And I'm out of shillings, but. Uh, oh well. I wonder if the doc. I wonder if I get paid at Pembroke Hospital. And dear God, there's a lot of people here. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. There we go. Now I can see her. A strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott. No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Here we go. Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Interesting. I cannot enter. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Oh, Cap. So I guess we're going to the church. Who are you? Welcome, sir. Please take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Right then. Show me what you have. So, I'm wondering, does improving a town situation make it better or worse? I feel like it could have either effect to almost... You buying something, sir? You never lose your focus. How business? business around here. Business? I had no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Okay. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights Here ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. 
Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Okay, so like there's a vampire. Oh, I'm not going to tell you about that, though. You don't need to know you about that. So I think if we improve the status in this neighborhood, so we can do a nurse lot thing. better. Always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Okay. Who's this bitch? Sorry, Excuse I apologize. Who's this man? I have a few questions for you. Another this is journalist. Peterson. I didn't answer the first one, so piss off. I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Actual service. service. I'm Joe Peterson, the son. A colossus joke at most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the wet boot boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Why not that big? You are a criminal who endorses criminal activity. The least you could do is stop hiding behind this pretense. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Interesting. There also should be a new hint for Barrett Lewis. Yep. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do oh, yeah. whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy, Dorothy Crane? Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Understandable. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Let's go back to this guy here. What do you have to say about this? Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your folk. Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. There we go. He box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. It's never easy to find a new path in life. Especially after the loss of a loved one. But crime is certainly not the best option. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. That's true. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against the wet boot boy. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. 
Okay then. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. All right. I shall leave you alone. I will help you out in just a bit, pal. Don't worry. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Investigation in London. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. It's criminal, it's a disgrace. I served in France. Our top priority must be to put an end to this butchery. This war must stop now. Sir, streets are a battlefield too. An invisible and untold war is going on, and it must be stopped. Okay. Have you I don't really like that answer, but oh. You face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? I'm convinced there is more at work here than a simple epidemic. Really? To be honest, I could say the same. Some of the sick I saw or heard of. My God, what happened to them? What is a oh. journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. Okay. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. Good to know. That's quite honorable. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. I see. So in other words, you're just looking for a reason to get out of your house, and uh, this is the best option. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He has no relatives. He's a vampire. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Man, he's lost he hope. He never goes out. No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him. But it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Interesting. Yeah, I'm assuming if we want to find out that he's fatigued, I need to get more Bye, hints Mr. about him. Darby. Farewell. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. Oh, I'm Dr. Jonathan my God. Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist. <gasps> you are much more lost than I thought, my son. I have heard enough for tonight. I'm not dealing with this fucker. 
Oh man, that's absolutely ridiculous. Do I hear some fornication on church grounds? Okay, I thought I heard some fornication going on there, but I was gonna pop in and, you know, teach them a little bit about protection, you know, keeping it safe. You gotta wrap it before you tap it. A small bouquet of flowers with a voucher for free medical checkup hidden between the flowers. If you're sick. So, it seems that she is uh, not so innocent herself, Mrs. Mute Camellia. Yep. Hey, Camellia, I need to talk to you about Please. something. I'm Dr. Reed. This is an investigator work my own without the help of the game. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Amelia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Very well. Okay, so... Interesting, interesting. I wonder if she's been, like, you know, threatened. My dearest, most beloved children, I'm so sorry you've not heard from me for a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish and silly when you, my children, are still living in a country consumed by a war, but there's also a war going on here in England. A war against poverty, against injustice. This is a war I intend to fight despite my advanced years. This is why I'm writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Romania. That probably means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You're grown up now and you have children of your own. You know the sacrifice we sometimes must accept to make the world a better place. This is one that I must make now to feel useful one more time. I wish you long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me. Remember that your father loves you all the way from this cold, damp country. I'm so ever... I am, as ever, your loving father. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Ah, uh, see. You're thinking about blackmailing him, but that doesn't work. Not here, at least. Blackmailing doesn't work. Over there! Nope, of course you have to kill me, huh? Defend me, at least. Ooh, that looks fancy. Ooh, he hurts me at the Holy Cross, I see. Fuck this game. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna have to rely mainly on probably hiding tactics or something. Stealth tactics, going around people, avoiding them. Okay. I'm only level 5 and I'm fighting against level 11s and 15s. God damn. And we have this fucking loading screen too that I have to deal with. Which isn't fun. Like, god damn. You guys have no clue how fun this isn't is. Actually, maybe you guys do. You guys are watching it, so. Oh, 
Just dead. Back, demon, back. Run and stealth. Shit. Burn it, boys. This isn't good for me. This actually could be good though. They follow me, they have to fight some of these dead people. Or these undead. Not dead. The leech, boys. Have fun with those leeches. How, what level is this? Level 16? I worked out rather well, if I may say so myself. Still don't have any ammunition though, which kind of sucks. Oh, hey, look where I am. Hey, look at that, there's no more wall. Why? Because we killed the wall, which was a unique enemy in this area. These guys, however, are not so unique. And are a dime a dozen, apparently. Thank you for the blood. I needed some. I just staked him to death. You got any bullets for me or anything? No bullets. Really no bullets. It's very disappointing, guys. I cannot enter. It's locked. I don't know why I didn't unlock that door from the other side. I mean, I was on the right side, so I could have done it. So, I don't know. That was just very stupid of me. I didn't really think, I guess. Is, ooh, garbage. Thank you. I'll take that disgusting grease. Can I teleport up here? I can
Nice. Large box of pills and some shotgun shells. Again. Still haven't found a shotgun yet. That kind of sucks, you know? I'm getting these nice weapons for it and all. You think your hearing would be a lot better in sense mode, you know? It's like the whole idea of it is that your senses are increased. Oh, okay. Guess this is a special place then. Vampia. Hideouts are often located in isolated places. Find them to unlock new safe places to rest. <clears throat> okay. You were not lying when you said dead inside. What exactly caused this here? I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, I guess I don't really get excess bullets, huh? Kind of sucks, I guess. What can I make? I'm gonna make something that can like steroids or something. I'm a doctor, so it's fine, you know. I mean, I don't... Hmm. I want that, actually. I don't need any glass vials, though, so I can hold on to that for now. Can I make that? Nope. Make this? I can. Also make this. Duty. Strong aesthetic properties. Here we go. So do we have treatment for migraines, colds, bronchitis, and pneumonia? These are sicknesses. Yeah, so we need the migraine. Potassium permaginate. And cocaine! Ah, we don't have much cocaine on us, do we now? It's probably because I'm snoring it all. Haha! -ha. Joke. I'm so funny. No one else has made that joke, I'm sure. I want this bad boy. That boy looks nice. I mean, I kind of want this. Yeah, that's nice. Shadowville is kind of cool, you know? Um, science. Okay, three serums. Um, increased blood capacity. I don't really need to worry too much with that. Um, 
I want to do more damage with, you know, bite. Yeah, more damage, please. I want to make it useful, you know. Coagulation. It's good when they're blocking. Um, you'll block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. I'm assuming this is just for two seconds, three seconds. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Um, tactical spring. What is this bad boy? Body. Increase your health and increase my stamina. Give myself more health, because I'm lacking in the health department, I guess. Yeah. Increase my stamina as well if I can. Nope. I can't. There we go. Level 9. Every night, the consequence of your actions may improve or degrade the district's health set. The more lives you take, the unhealthier district becomes. The district's health set drops below critical threshold will plunge to chaos. Okay. So, I can almost cure that for bronchitis. Um, I need to get supplies though. I can cure fatigue. Migraine, I don't have the medicine for. Fatigue, I still also don't have the medicine for. Yeah, no one's dead yet, so that's nice. I at least I don't think so, right? Wait, are these guys dead? No? Not dead yet? Awesome. Headache, okay. fatigue, everyone else is healthy, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I don't plan on killing anyone, so that's for sure. Fatigue, stable, healthy, serious, stable. Okay, so this one I want to try and improve its uh, level here. Now. Oh, that's way more nice now. The power of Christ compels you, bitches. Definitely try to make more medicine. Blood as addiction, new collectible. Okay. I like that. Ooh. Oh, for fuck's sakes, yo. For fuck's sakes, god damn. Some enemies, including blind scouts and preachers, will feel your presence while using this ability. Shallow Veil. Okay. And preachers. Man, are preachers like the special guys that I fought with, like the with the cross or something? Because that's like the only thing I'd probably want to use it to get by. I mean, that's the guy that I could probably handle. Oh, I should also check to see if I could upgrade my weapon. That would have been nice. Cause I think I could use an upgrade, or maybe I could just switch up my weapon. We can take a look at what weapons I own right now. So I'm just using the sword the entire time. The DLC weapon. Come on, load up game. You're almost there. I will say this: I wish like this weapon had special abilities against like, you know. Zombies or something would be kind of cool. Oh, 
Oh, he's way better. Use bludgeon, common barbed coon. Oh, and it's two handed. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I can't switch it. I see. I'm not going to go back the way I came. No, let's show up my new club. Oh my god. This weapon. So fucking effective. Holy shit. Why would I use anything else? I have no reason to use anything else. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Me likey likey the clubby wubby. That's a really good club. Holy shit. That's really good, guys. Like, honestly, I, I'm kind of shocked at how good that club is. I mean... I wonder what levels I'm going to be fighting eventually. Because I feel like the levels are going to get harder and harder to fight, right? Eventually. The fuck is all this? Okay. Maybe I could clean up... Oh, I wonder if killing the rice actually will help prevent the spread of disease. This could help us, you know? I'm doing this for us, not because I want to. Eating mice is gross, guys. Don't do it. Unless you're a vampire and you're immune to diseases. You know? I'm cleaning up the streets. Relax, pal. You're helping them. Rats are one of the... for blood. Oh, am I addicted to drinking blood now? Ah, whoops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing that. And he's dead. And uh, so you in just a second. Thank you. What? How does the pair work? Oh. Does that have to use it before they attack or something? Yeah, okay. That's what it is. It's a quick way to block an attack, I believe. That's all it does. Wow. So... I mean, I'll probably be more likely... Oh, I gotta fix that. There. Hello, Center for Disease and Control. Um, influenza, pneumonia, frequently complicated with pneumonia, preventing case planet Spanish flu, stay at home or wear right the blah, blah, blah or wear a doctor mask, you know? Richard, I'm assuming. The poet Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, I'm a poet sir. sir. Richard, Richard Nithercott, at That's your awesome. service. And I shall bash your skull in when you turn into a may vampire in front of me. At this hour of night. Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. 
Especially with strangers. Right, with strangers. But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. If you say so. Okay. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposures. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. You think you're strong? What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Yes. The enjoyable silence of the grave. You have a unique perspective on the situation, I must admit. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. I understand your need for solitude, but it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor, and my family despises me. So you're depressed. If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear Doctor. Yeah, I kind of thought you'd say something like that. Makes sense. Tell me, Mr. Nethercold, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Oh, okay. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery. Who exhales kindness and sweetness. And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? That's a phrase I've heard perhaps quite a bit. Perhaps just afraid to find out the truth. And villains mainly. One day perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But ah, uh, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? Yeah. In what way exactly? That's the very struggle true. by gaslight, the barren smiles and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Whitechapel is made of. Interesting. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. Interesting. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. Oh. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. A nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. Interesting. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. 
I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Uh -huh. I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Cold. I need to start trying to get, get like the... Guys, look at her fucking blood level. Oh my god, it's fucking 5,000. Dude. I'll just fucking sink my teeth into her right now. I don't care. Screw what I said, man. That's a huge ass help. That's a huge help to me. To my business, you know? Hello again, miss. Trying to kill people is not easy. Tell me about Richard Nivercott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. Very well. Okay, one more hint, which I'm assuming we're going to be able to get from, uh, old man Darius. Let's talk to this woman, introduce ourselves. She's unknown, so let's make a no. What can Christina do for you? I'm you Russian? For what you're selling. All right then, but be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Ha ha ha, real funny, you're a slut. Ha uh, ha ha, I'm so... Christina, have you been oh, examined? So stupid. The epidemic is spreading fast in London. And you could be exposed. Or expose others. I don't like doctors. Or hospitals. But I don't like you asking questions. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. I could be your Clayton sugar Darby daddy. He will expose the crisis Ooh. in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you Empathy is an amazing I've thing. I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley <laughs> before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. It's disgusting. Why would they come down here? Are there no slots in the higher quality level areas or something? Wait, can I not... Can I not cure or anything for that? No, I guess not, huh? Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. Russia. I have few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. But your health is. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her. Think about it. If you stay healthy in your line of work, at least then you can continue is doing it. She came from Romania like me and many others. Oh, you Romania. To respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Okay. Okay, so I'm already seeing a, p a potential lead here, or, or potential excuse. So, if it is Dorothea who is, uh, if it's Dorothea who seems to be kind of, you know, 
uh, blackmailing the person, I know exactly why. Like, it's because she's trying to get money to help support this funding that she spends. So, I'm curious, is Dorothea Crane not in this area as well? I can be a hero, baby. I could wash away the pain. 76%. I can't tell if it's getting worse Goodbye, or... Miss. I should probably keep an eye on it as the nights go on. I got more XP for doing what? We'll talk to you. Good Your life in London. Uh, I am more what lost you than you thought. You say that All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't... Quite a judgmental opinion. <laughs> I just skipped over what he said. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. You sound I like am. some kids I know. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. What do you mean? When All you're quite a judgment. Are you... Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening. As a doctor, you must be aware of the decimating epidemic. But really? No shit. The so called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. You sure this guy's healthy? He doesn't seem it. No, I'm just joking. Okay, what's your plan? Really? And what would be your... We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. So you're fucking crazy. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All signs. Quite a... Are you... Well, what do you mean? The beast. I have heard. Good evening. Peace. This fucker's insane. Tell me, Tobias, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once, this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes? The buildings? The corpses? Worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. A small-time Torquemada. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool? Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. I think you're going to be next, pal, so don't worry about it. Friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I send him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Where'd where you send him? him? I'm gonna go I save his ass. To the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. Are you sure you don't have any medical problems, you know, sir? Because like I'm trying to think otherwise. Ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that nurse Crane you mentioned. So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale? Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. 
Fuck you. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in our country. That's what happens when you let her. Oh win. fuck it! I'm gonna go for like three hours tonight. I guess why not? Um. I've heard enough. But... Okay, listen. This is all important and all the blackmail situation, but goddamn, I'm not gonna let some poor man die because this fucking idiot decided to let his son die. We are tracking this quest and we are going after him. Let's go. I'm not gonna let the man die. What's this all about? What do I get from coming up here? I can fight away the pain. What did I get from coming up here? I didn't get anything from coming up here. What the? Maybe that's right now. Maybe I get something for coming up here later, I guess. I cannot enter. Yeah, I get nothing from doing this. I can't jump over. Well, I got some new abilities. Actually, yeah, I have to check it. So what are my abilities classified as? So I have my actives, coagulation, Shadow Veil, L2 and R2. Okay, now the ultimate. Okay. Shit, I'm already out of it. Okay, let's wait. Fuck it. Let's just kill this guy. Look at it. We have to stop it. Fuck you. You, sir. Come here. Okay. I ought to have to step back. Oh, yeah, strain his blood a bit. Fucking let's go, Revan Kane, huh? Ooh, okay, you drain me of my blood. That's what you do. Holy fucking shit. He just comboed me. Fucking wombo combo, baby. Okay, I gotta use that coagulation a little bit more there. You have been defeated. You'll find a drainer that can kill Vamp, my friend. You have been offered relative immortality. Yeah, sure. Very little that can kill a vampire. Oh, although, be wary of men with ordinary swords, men with ordinary guns, men with fucking staffs with a holy cross on the end. You don't want them hurting you up too bad, because when they hit you on the face, it hurts a bit. You know, it only takes about four hits with a staff to kill you. So, just remember, relative immortality. Relative. That's the key word there. Relative. And you know what I have to say to you, vampire? Fuck you. That is not relative. That is absolutely guaranteed. Sorry, I'm not talking about immortality. I'm talking about death. <laughs> like, Jesus. Fucking don't screw with the church, guys. I'm telling you right now. They will fuck your shit up. Look at this. Okay. Let's fucking fix this shit this time. Not fail so miserably. He tried to burn me to death there. I shall be a 
Why the fuck does he dodge every single attack I throw at him? Wrong one. Sorry. It's super annoying how he can dodge every attack and land all of his. Ooh. So if you parry mid-attack, that does lots of damage to him. Okay. Come on, Reverend Kane. So called amazing prophet, huh? Sorry, wrong one. There we go. I fucking parried his attack there. We're getting to do anything, and that was an instant knockout. Stung me with his faith. His crucifix. This is not good news. <sighs> what are you talking about? He was easy to kill. Fucking seven levels under his. Well, that's all it takes. Just a fucking club to the face. Army needs you. Join today. Great. British ranks need you. I'm so fucking glad. Um, let's go this way. We gotta find this man. Good, he's dead. Yeah, so, um, uh, sadly, problem with using my weapons and attacks, uh, you don't got any ability to dodge things, or shoot people, sorry. So. I heard someone coughing. I heard, I hear a baby crying. There should not be children in this fucking district. Random blood while I gave my stamina back. Sensibility frames, thank you. Why, hello there, sir. I did not see you standing there. Would you please stand for a second? Thank you. No. I didn't give you permission for that, sir. Please understand this. I don't like it very much. Now I can fight this fucking level 16 werewolf, shall we? Oh. Fucking club is great. I love it. Shit! Yes! Oh, I stopped a mid-attack. That could have been very bad for me. Because these guys can heal up for instant, for like, all the health back, and that's not fun. Oh. Oof, baby. Okay. Combat. Not easy. Combat without vampiric powers. Even harder. It can be much harder to even bother. Even attempting. So, I don't know. I'm... I'm starting to regret the uh, possibility of trying to do a, you know, defiance run where you have to defy your vampiric uh, heritage or your vampiric I nature. Fuck you, man. 
This one, th this run is essentially, I, I have accepted my vampiric powers, but I refuse to harm good people. And those guys aren't very good people, I think. Um, mainly because they're killing me. You know, I will use my powers to defend myself. I will not use my powers to instigate attacks against, you know, random people who didn't deserve it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you all. Maybe I did. What do you guys know? Fuck me. Chaw. Restrict his movement for a couple seconds here. Fuck off, man. Just drain him all his blood, please. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Shouldn't survive that now, did ya? Okay, so. Next. We gotta continue on with our attempt to fucking make it through this horrifying district. We gotta try and get ourselves over to Mr. Darius or whatever his name is. Um, I'm sorry, what was the point of coming here? No point? Is that what it was? I think it was no point. Nope, wool scarf. Ooh, traditional Romanian. Okay, okay. What am I trying to head? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have to go a long ways around. I have to go a long ways around. Yeah, I have to go a long ways around. I would have been quick if I went around the back end of the hospital entrance. Okay, well, and I know which way I'm going now, because I actually took a look at my map for once, like a, you know, intelligent person would have in the first place. Thinking it was, like, relatively close. What am I thinking? Suppose I've already seen? Prevent disease. Careless spitting, sneezing, coughing, spread influenza, spread by droplets sprayed from nose and throat. Do not cough in public. Like I said, just carry yourself one of those face masks, you know, keep the infection within your body. Okay, so this is the direction I need to go, but do I wanna Yeah I can take him. I see all though. He was not all. He had a friend there. Okay. Already don't like this situation. But not too scary. Okay, I don't like this at all. That's a lot of people for me to fight. Someone stop. Dead for me. Ah, uh, give me that immunity, please. Okay. Fucking dodge, please and thank you. Give me blood, that way I can take your health. God. Ooh, nice dodge there. Very casual about it too. Get 
fucking smacked on, bitch. A hypochlorite solution is great and all, but where's this last vampire here? Hey, sir, I don't appreciate the way you've been treating me. Do you understand that? You got this? So I'm gonna have to take your life now? Thank you. Uh, very Dark Souls-ish combat. Ha ha ha, it's the Dark Souls of vampire games. Aren't I funny? Give me a million of views, please. Give me a million view. One million troops. That's right. One million troops. Okay, well, so this guy's in trouble here. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. How do I increase my mesmerized level? I'm curious. Well, he doesn't know anything, so he's not looking out his window, hopefully. Because <laughs> otherwise, he would have found out that I'm a vampire, probably. I, mean, I could probably just enter his house anyways and just be like, Yo, what's up, boy? How's it going? Beautify here. Quarantine, contagious disease. No one shall enter or leave quarantine without written permission of local health authority. No person except an authorized employee of a health district shall enter, destroy, or remove this card, and with violence regulation, will be fined. Well, there's no one out here to find the person, so what are you going to do, son? Oh, so I'm still in the battle area. Good to know. This game is expansive as fuck, guys. Holy shit. Stuff everywhere. This is despicable. Oh, shut up. You've been doing it for quite a while now, pal. Oh, there's another safe house. Awesome, I can make some stuff. Can I make any cold medicine? Any of these guys? No, I need codeine. Uh, I can make some cold medicine. I need codeine. I can make one thing of cold medicine. Why not? Can I make. Ah, oh, I can make some sepsis cure. Let's make one sepsis cure. Okay, because people are going to fucking need it. And then we need sodium hypochlorite solution. Potassium. Opium. Yeah, let's not hold on. I won't sell these guys. Let's get some alcohol stuff for it. I guess we're not. Self a syringe or something. I myself already made one cure cold. Or one cold cure. So another serum. And I need potassium permanganite. Or potassium perman per per permanganite. I don't know. But I got myself five shillings. This game really likes the number five, apparently. Like, really likes the number five. I don't know why. Okay, so this guy is a little bit more safe than the previous safe house we've been to. Stand there and watch as your friend gets brutally murdered by me. Ooh, okay. You know what? I don't like attitude. Fuck you. I want to bash your skull in with my club, but I guess not, huh? Dude, I will say this. This club is so nice. Like, honestly, it's a really nice club. Like, I'm just clubbing people left and right, and they ain't doing anything about it. So what's this way, actually? Ah, uh, this is back the way I came. Yeah. Okay. So the way I went just kind of had me avoid the people. The people's... Hey, Mr. Rain Man, come on down and rain on me. It's a time for uh, me to go home. 
I need to use the washroom. Okay, you know what? Excuse me. I have to go. Yeah, I'll be right back. I have to use the washroom, guys. Sorry. Well, hello. I'm back, everybody. So, uh, yeah. Let's get back into the game, shall we? I apologize about that. Uh, but... We shall... Oh, yeah, that's the entrance to the safe room. I forgot. This is just, like, the pre-area. Take that. Box of pills. Quinine. Nice. Let's get moving. Senses up. 
Hey, Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. Daylight just come and me wanna go home. Ooh, disgusting. A strange formula. I can't yeah, I need blood. I'm doing so. this. Ah, uh, well, you don't even have a choice, dude. You need blood for your moves and your abilities, so. I have this thirst for blood. Yes, I get it. You're disgusted by yourself. Okay, you know what? Let's worry about exploring this area later. Right now, let's just worry about trying to save this guy here, because he's going to be getting exasked by some sort of vampire or something. I can almost guarantee it. It's not going to be an easy side quest. I'll probably die once, maybe twice. Ah, I can guarantee. Wow, I'm using that combat train a lot more now. That's pretty interesting. And that's mainly because the club is just so good at getting it in time. Really? I don't know if that was more powerful than my attack. Or my parry move, I guess. So I can only do so much with the parry. Wait, I gotta get this chance where I can get multiple. Fuck me. Get a triple hit. There we go. Come on. He's dead. Either Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana, daylight is come and me want to go home. I wish that there was a little bit more, like, sensory information here, whenever I used my senses. I could be nearing where the enemy is, or where our friend is here. So I need to be careful with my powers, I don't want him to know that I'm a vampire. You know? Oh, he's being hurt. What do you want? Don't worry about me. I'm human and all. Don't worry about my super good reflexes. No vampire powers in front of a citizen. Oh, that'd be difficult. Imagine that, like a no dodge run or anything. Well, she's out of sight, so she can't see, or maybe she can hear, but it doesn't matter. She won't know what's going on, so that's what is really important here. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened, ma'am. I killed him. It's okay. Are you all right, miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiaoxun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. 
I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Carnage. Is Father Whittick... This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. It's locked. Shouldn't you go back home? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk. Because you're crazy, understood. Well, I'm going to go back for more skulls in, so stay back. I'm surprised she hasn't seen him or anything. I feel like she would have seen him, you know? Something this intense. Kind of uh, important. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go and unlock this door, because this gate's probably locked, I'm assuming. It's not locked. It's open. Great. Good to know. As I feared, Samuel no longer preaches the good word. Well, where's Samuel? Is he somewhere around here? I'm not seeing him. Well, that's Samuel. Well, let's drain his blood, shall we? There we go. Look at this damn dumb cosmo. Drain his blood. One last final time. Bye bye, Samuel. 12th of October. Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion, love for suffering ones. His words are all this city needs. Tonight I give him all I have, my strength, my faith, my wealth, and if it's not enough, I know where to find more. That's disgusting. Um, Father Whitaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disputing the room to the last remaining residents of the decrepit flats. Most of them were sick, awful, awful odors on the last floor. Father Whitaker found an old man lying in a dirty mattress, coughing, and spitting blood from into a wood or in a wooden bowl. Uh, Father Whittaker knelt before the man prayed for a long time. The man seemed to feel better. When we both helped him find the light, I cried, and then I cry now as I write these lines. For I've never seen a soul so relieved to be finally redeemed. Father Whittaker is a saint. If it's it's if it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, a wish I'll be able to save as many souls as he does. It's for it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. This guy's crazy. Tonight we both went to the whorehouses boarding the canal. I must admit, I was very afraid to cross the path of Jezebel's. But the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Whores and infections go together, explained Father Whitaker. But their customers quickly get scared when there's a mention of disease in the last... In the last brothel, we found two sick women sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The odor was awful once more. The smell of Satan and of disease, explained Father Whitaker before kneeling and praying to see these two lost souls. The woman was so frail and sick, they're not able to move when I threw the petrol on their blankets. Their souls are now cleansed and purified. Yep, okay, he's fucking terrifying. Father would take us a stand and let anyone mock the holy man he is. He shall receive more help and support. But as all the true prophets, he is alone. He needs more from his followers. He needs love, the proof of love. He wants to go back to the cemetery and unlearn more wealth for him. The dead, the dead have no need of the terrestrial goods. So, tonight for the first time it was my turn to lead the round. I chose... To return where we went ten days ago to see if any more souls need to be freed. Father Whitaker proved my choice since the good man's work is never finished. And Satan never sleeps, he said. He also said if I keep showing so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption tonight. If it's not presumptuous nor a simple pride, I dare to say we are one path to the greatest. I can't believe I'm doing this. I feel like my character had something to say about that, and I completely fucked it up by doing what I just did there. Which you guys don't know what I just did, I just kind of went and bit into a rat, so... Mm. 
Let's kill this guy. Come on. No, you don't want to sleep here, man? You don't have to worry about people trying to kill you or anything. I mean, if they did, you'd just wake up and fucking drink their blood. Nice, a hideout. Can I make anything? Let's see. Drop some pills. Yeah, let's go to these pills. Can I make any special cures here? I can make one for bronchitis, which could be useful. But now I need more of this stuff and codeine too, which sucks. Serums. I don't have to worry about losing all anything. I can make one of these guys as well. I got two of those guys. Let's research the strange formula. Nice. Now we can make ourselves some headaches, migraine, and this type of pain. Migraine. That one and this guy. There. Now we got special stuff for everything. Level two stamina serum. Interesting. Where even am I? I'm in the hospital district. Okay. So what are my objectives here for my current quests? Report. Okay, so I guess this got this one's just done. Find out to whom the scarf belongs. Okay. I should try and get them both medicine here as well. Okay, so let's go out the main entrance, I guess. We don't really have anything else to do right now. But we do have to try and make our way back to... Actually... Witness my power. Much it, did you now? Should have gotten close to me, pal. I'm a vampire. You should know that. I have my ways of subduing people. Well, this person's dead, right? Interesting way to go down. Leg spread. You know, very interesting. Hmm. Five shillings. Real, that's all. 
So where does this lead? Uh, this leads to a boxed off path, which means nothing but good stuff. Oh, bullets. Look at that. Can I climb up anywhere? I would assume so. I guess not, huh? Okay, well, kill this guy. He's gonna be dead in just a second too. I guess the bodies of those who die by a vampire's hand just kind of disintegrate, huh? Also, I want to say this, the fact, just like hearing children's crying in the background is kind of disturbs, a little bit upsetting, you know? Just thinking about the fact that like, oh yeah, all these people are dead now, so. Okay, so I could have easily went around them. Oh yeah, so there's like tons of ways to just go around people in this game. Making like a non-vicious route like really easy and really interesting. That's actually really cool. You can quite honestly just slip in and out around people. You know, avoid ever having to fight at most enemies. Again, most. Some you're gonna have to fight regardless. But, uh... Well... Not really much to try and take up here, so... There we go. Wow, this is a very interesting shortcut area. It's locked. Very interesting. So I need to get on the other side of this building then and unlock it, don't I? I that's what I need to do. Because that'll essentially open up a nice little way for me to just kind of move around and stuff. I wonder now, is there any other way I can get out of this area? Or am I stuck down here? Yeah, I think I'm stuck down here. I don't think I can get out any other way. I do have to go...
Level 20 to mesmerize her, interesting. Clay Cox. Good I actually need been Mr. meaning to talk to you for a bit, Mr. Cox. Still working at night, I said. Why? People who don't sleep at night always seem more. Do you ever think about that? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss had cut me good. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. What did he want? Revenge? He just I said that. recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Is that all you think about? I'm the toughest bastard you'll ever meet, Dr. Reed. And I don't give a fuck what you think of me. Oh, well, you will want to kill you. This is a shitty plate. What's wrong? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my... I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude. Because we're going to kill this guy, right? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting? A medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. If blood and violence is all you understand, I'm sure it won't be long before you meet them, Mr. Cox. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I can say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the Wet Boot Boys. One day I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. You press R1 to heal people and L1 to mesmerize people. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. I'll leave you. Overall, that was some pretty good information we gained. We know who the leader of the Wet Boot Boys are now, so we can go and have a chat with uh, what's his face. I can't remember what his name is. Um. Anyways, point is we can go have a chat with the guy now. So. Oh wait, yes, yes, I remember his name now. And also, I remember this guy. You gave me so much trouble before. Guess what? Now you're gonna be dead within seconds. Watch and learn. Here we go. Almost dead.
Ooh, wet boot boys notes. Concerning the recruitment of the new boys in Whitechapel, I think I found one. Alby. Uh, he's as stupid as stool, but tough. I asked him to prove to me he'd get some drugs for black market and he delivered quickly and nicely. Next time we meet, I'll take, tell him he's accepted as a wet boot boy and he must now meet his bosses to get I'm order. Sure Albert would like to know he's been accepted by the wet boot boys. Interesting. Oh, okay. You don't want me to go in there? That's fine. Well, how can you burn me if you're already dead, huh? So yeah, so who can't wait to kill that guy that's coming up, you know? Because I know I can't. I can't wait to kill him. Mr. Clay Potts, whatever his name is. I don't know what he calls himself. Point is, though, I can't wait to kill him. Like, second I get a chance, I'm going to kill him. This is just the way it is. Let's see, how old has my stream been doing? Wow, I've only had two fuck-ups this stream. Like, two breakdowns, and it's been like three hours. So yeah, clearly, Ethernet cable's way better when it comes to streaming than a, a wireless connection. Uh, now, if I had better internet, you know, I had a better upload speed, I would consider uploading at a slightly higher quality. Um, however, as of right now, this is the best I can do with the least amount of possible uh, look up, look mess ups, you know? So, yeah, sorry guys. I have this. I cannot enter. Okay, so I will have to kill people in this area. Understood. How are you, sir? What? What happened? Who are you? It's all right, sir. You're safe now. Oh, a fellow Englishman. Thank you, sir. Oof. There we go. For a moment, I thought those bloody heathens had killed me. What are you doing here? This place is not safe. Yeah, it's a cesspool, but it's mine. I came to collect some overdue rent. But those who still live here have gone completely bonkers. You're very lucky to be alive. Yeah, oh. filthy immigrants, fucking savages, every one of them. And now with this bloody fever, they're just animals. You can find safety of sorts in Whitechapel. If you're quick and cautious, you'll be able to avoid the savages. Yeah. Why can't they do a medical checkup? I can mesmerize them. I could kill them right now. This is blood quality. Not very good. Not very good at all. I'll have to speak to him once he gets into town. This is Braille. Text in Braille. I need someone who can read this. I'm able to text in Braille. Oh, I know who can read it. Oh, I know exactly who can read it. Fucking, if I go to Camellia, I bet you she could read it, but she wouldn't be able to tell me anything about it. So I guess she's useless in a way, huh? Just don't listen to what's going on upstairs, kid. Okay, That's all I can say. Uh, you won't have to listen to it very long, at least. I'm surprised you guys aren't like more resistant to blood type attacks. Because I mean, they are vampires themselves. Go. 
That's a really nice move, I will say that much. It's open now. No, my nose always open. I'm stupid. Cadogan Bates, he has a cold. Once he gets into town, I can prescribe him some medicine. Nice. A petition letter. Not what I wanted. I want to look at the letter, not my map. And I'm sure it would have popped up in just a second, but I don't have time to be wasting, man. I got no people watching right now. You know, I gotta be quick about this stuff. There we go. Don't want one of these rats uh, possibly it affecting them. Despicable. Why, hello there, pal. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Yeah, let's go back outside. Nice long waiting. Nice long waiting uh, screen, because that's always fun. <sighs> so. Uh, how, how's your day been going so far, Mr. Invasion? <sighs> Here we go. Six citizens can be healed with the appropriate treatment. A healthy citizen helps contribute to raising the health status of the district they belong to. Uh, my day's been okay so far as well, you know? <sighs> Just been playing some vampire for the past, like, couple hours, so... <sighs> Whitechapel Street. Nothing. Uh, also nobody. Um, how close are we to town? Oh, good. Let's go through some people first. Sorry, I'll, I'll read your message in just a second here. Mm. Go on. Some blood attack on him. Ooh, really, 200 damage from that's nice. Ooh. Damn, you hurt me good there. Okay, what'd you say here? Oh, yeah, this game is uh, definitely a fun game. A little bit heavy on the chatty side, but uh, you know. I don't mind it that much. Combat's nice, so. Took me a little bit of time to get used to it first, but uh, now I, I seem to have got the hang of it, you know. Oh, nice shillings. Always good to get some money. Shotgun shells, which I still don't have a shotgun yet. Um, I don't know what's upstairs or where this is leading, but. Is this a good place? Nope, not good. Resistance people. Fight him up. That was easy. Uh. Oh, cool. What do you like to stream? Uh, let's see here. 2nd November from Scout Lewis Cagney to Mr. Jeffrey McCollum. Uh, sir, have been having observed the Pembroke Hospital for two weeks now, we can confirm vampire activity there. First, we now have proof of the presence of a female leech inside the hospital. The beast is clever. She acts like a mental patient to hide her true unholy condition. I personally sneaked inside the hospital and heard the creature whining about her need for blood since her body's decaying. But it gets worse. The Ministry of Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Swansea, according to our team leader, uh, Amanda Tilton, who died yesterday in a fight against a skull by the canal, he may be a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. If that's true, then maybe something big going on at Pembroke. Maybe even a nest of vampires took by those bloody traitors of the stole. We don't know what to do, but we are convinced you better come quickly with your enforcements and heavy gear. First off, that's pretty big news. And second off, the guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> that is, she's not an actual vampire, but... Oh, man. She's a mental patient. Uh, he even notes it himself, like, I heard a mental patient talking about her vampire needs. You know. 
Okay. Okay, I thought so. Uh, nothing else in here, it seems. Ooh, trash can. Wait, is this is this just a dead end? It is just a dead end. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I have never been here before because that one zombie always kept on fucking me up. So, but he's weak sauce now, man. This game is much much easier once you get once you're strong. Yeah, I've already went in there, saved the citizen. Uh, so next we can go this way. Awesome. A new hideout. Does someone need? Nope, no one. Let's see. Oh, I got some more pills I can break down into supplies. Make myself some more medicine. Actually, that alcohol. Can I break down? I can. Make myself some more tartar. Make myself some aluminum powder. Let's see if I can actually upgrade my club. This is very good. What does it take to upgrade? Oh, I can't. I need a used barbed cudgel. At three stun points when the weapon hits, increase damage up by 10%. At three stun points when the weapon hits, maybe? Get that stun stuff up? I mean, that's pretty useful. But so is damage. Um. Oh, I can up. I can try to upgrade it to level three. Okay, but because it's all oh, it's already a level two. That's why. Okay, so I can throw in increased stun or enhanced damage. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go with the stun. I like the stun. Wait, can I get both? Oh no, only one. Am I wasting parts every time? I am wasting parts every fucking time. Okay, that was very stupid of me. That was very stupid of me. I just wasted, like, how many parts there? I thought I could just build the upgrade and then not have to worry about it, but no. Gotta be careful with that. Never. I'm newer to streaming, but I like playing Vampire, Overwatch, Fortnite, uh, Dragon Ball... DBD. Ah, actually, I don't know what that is. Dead by Daylight. Okay. Final Fantasy 13, or no, Friday the 13th. H1Z1, Far Cry 5, etc. Ah, yeah, cool. Just a general assortment of games. Nope, I don't want to rest. Don't want to rest. Don't exit. Don't rest. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of games I kind of like too, but I haven't gone around to playing any of them. I'm mainly just playing, like. So far, I've just kind of been playing. I can't what? I'm doing this. I've streamed God of War for a bit. Uh, then I like almost beat that. I just have to kill a couple more of the Valkyries in that game. But uh, is he dead? Nah, not yet. Go. But, yeah, so I have to kill a couple more of the Valkyries in God of War three, and I think I got a couple more side quests I can do too before the game's done fully. So, but ooh, Are you kidding? I'm barely moving, pal. I don't like you now. You can die. Uh, and I've already opened up that gate. I want to just no. That's right. The people you kill do not stay dead. They do respawn over time. I forgot. I have experienced that lots of times. Though. Yes, yes. I've killed these guys so many times now. Fluid combat. And now we're in the districts. Whitechapel district status. 
So, I do have some people I could try and go... I could try and cure. What's up, pal? You didn't see what happened, did you? How are you, boy? I'm not even... I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. This note was found on a dead man, Albert. If that doesn't change your mind, then you must be ready to face the risks. You all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Do you need assistance? Please. Feel it. There you go. Let's hope nobody's very funny. Oh, well, uh, we've uh, given him some medication. Oh, he's recovering. That's nice. I could mesmerize him and kill him if I wanted to. But, you know, Goodbye, he doesn't deserve it. He's not exactly a bad person, so. Only drain the good ones. That's my philosophy. If you don't deserve it, then you don't deserve it. Doesn't matter what I'm. When doesn't matter what I require to survive. This elixir will give you faith again. When science fails you, science is not meant to be the. Oh, that's right. This is bloody, bloody hallway street. I don't like it here. I'm trying to. Uh, should I go? Maybe. Maybe I should go to the guy. Father Darius. Are you going to talk to this guy? I believe he had medical evening, problems, right? You don't seem... I always feel ill. I can try to help your body heal. Whoa, destroyed me, Doctor. Okay, well now he's recovering, so that's good. You know, I'm trying to help everyone out. I'm a doctor, so... It's my job in life. To heal people. Uh, let's not start with him yet. Let's go to Father, whatever his name is. Father Cornelius, is what I'll call him for now. Hmm. I wonder if I can talk to this guy and tell him about how... No, can't tell anything about his boss. Can I offer you? The name is... Goodbye. Okay, cool. Just checking. I'm curious, actually, how many medicinal supplies do I have? I don't think I have many more. Um, treatment for neurologia. I'm looking for fatigue because I know the fatigue is the most troubling one. Yeah, no problem, dude. I'll see you next time. Hope you have a good, good rest of the night, good rest of the day, whatever. Don't know what time it is for you, but I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. Yes. He Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will, I will smite, smite the, the flesh, flesh of the unclean. Of the unclean. To protect the righteous. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself, the proliferating sect. You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified, glorified sadist. sadist. I take no pleasure oh, I love in his accent. cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood. Sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. I know exactly about her. Laughing queen dressed in blood. Oh, she wasn't dressed in blood, but she was there. 
the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. Why? I said... Good evening. Because I think that... yeah. Don't you... F I've been touched by... Okay, good. Your disciple... No! Samuel would... He defiled the dead with his petty thefts. That's how he financed your misguided crusade. Think what you will. When this city is saved, he will be praised for his devoted fortitude. He walked boldly into the mouth of abomination. Your precious Samuel used you. He was an immoral crook. <sighs> if that's true... And he will be my burden to bear during this endless night. Confess your crimes! So I got all the things, so his blood level's completely healthy. I have heard enough. So all I need to do is level up my mesmerization level, and then I can kill him. Which, how to do that? Wait. Don't tell me, I swear to god, if I have to level my mesmer- if I have to like get my mesmerization level like up to level 5 each and every time, oh my god. Or like if I have to increase it by level- by 10 levels every time to increase it, I will not survive this game, like that is insane. Good evening, Doctor. Um, actually I was wondering if I could help you. Oh, Christina Pover claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. <laughs> hmm. Do okay. you need us? That would be nice of you, Doctor. If you persist, thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Not a bad folk, he is. Um, but I need to check up on. She's also suffering from fatigue. Crap. Also suffering from fatigue. So these guys are both getting better, which is good. Cardigan Bates. Treatment for cold. There's a cold as well, and then Darius Petrescu has bronchitis. So I have the treatment for bronchitis, and I have a treatment for the cold as well. So I can help those guys out, which is going to make me look good in their eyes. I think, at least. Right? I have a treatment for the cold and bronchitis, I believe. Um, Treatment for bronchitis, and treatment for... Cold, yeah, right there. Okay, so I can cure his cold and I can cure the other man's bronchitis. Which is just dandy by me. Let's go inspect my medical patient here. Now after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna cure this guy and then we'll continue with the stream tomorrow. So I don't know I don't know if I'll do another four hours, maybe I will, because the internet's doing a lot better now, so that's what I actually enjoy the most. The fact that my internet does much better with streaming now, so due to this, um do you need medical attention? It may be wise to let you prescribe. I understand your appetite for work. The nutrition of my mind.
Okay. So we some one more hint to be able to do more there. Exhausted for now. Okay. So yeah. So that's the end of this part, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rest. That's for sure. I only have 1,865 XP. I think I should only. I should rest as little as possible. I personally think, because I mean, there's a day cycle, right? And if you think about it, you know, it may not be good to let people. You know, to be resting constantly, because I think people will progressively get worse as the nights go on and they're not being cured. And so my absolute job is to try and, you know, make sure I go out, uh, I go out every night, try and collect some supplies and stuff. Because I think every night you rest, you will actually restock the supplies in the world. So, at least I think. I could be wrong, though. Um... Christina Popa. I, I want to actually help you out, but I don't really have the ability to. I need to find, like, a resting spot. Actually, now that I think about it, isn't this... What? Here. I think I can actually do this. So I think, I don't know, I think I have the materials to make another fatigue potion, so. And, you know, if you're not strong enough, remember that the blood of the citizens is the fastest way to evolve. I don't care. I only take the blood of those who deserve it. Um, or who I judge to be deserving of it. But uh, definitely something I uh, need to do from now on is I need to be much more cautious with how I use my supplies. Um, so that I don't waste, you know, medical supplies on making something that I don't need to cure someone, you know. I need to make sure that I'm making medicines for the people whose conditions I know I can cure. Um, you know, and then if I don't have any conditions I need to cure, I can just save all my medical supplies instead of making, like, preemptive stuff. That way I can be a little bit smarter about my medicinal um, uh, practices and stuff. Um, so I need to make... So who all is suffering from fatigue in this district? So we got fatigue, so one, two... Okay, so just two people suffering from fatigue in this district. We'll make some fatigue potions here. If I can make two. I don't think I can though. Can I make many? I can make two. So I got two for those guys. So what's the next condition that I need to cure? So I got enough for these two. Um, guys, a migraine and a cold, bronchitis. Okay, so next I have to cure the migraine, the migraine, the cold, and the bronchitis is what I need to cure. So we got now. So we got uh. Okay, so we got migraine. Ooh. Yeah. I think we should be careful. Okay. So these medicines are varying power levels, that's why. So I should only make the stuff that applies to the specific person and save my more serious medicines for the more serious conditions. So we need migraine medicine, cold medicine, and bronchitis medicine. So if I go to my table here, migraine, bronchitis, and cold. So do I have migraine medicine? No, I do not. So migraine medicine, I need cold medicine. So let's get cold medicine. And bronchitis medicine, which I believe... Yeah, I have bronchitis. There. There's no reason to, like, over-heal people and stuff, you know. We gotta be careful with what we prescribe people. So, treatment for bronchitis. Um, treatment for cold. And, yeah, treatment for migraine. So, yeah. There's the migraine, cold, and the bronchitis. And also the two fatigues I've already made. Okay. So let's go back out then. 
and finish up the stream finally I went a little bit longer than normal a little bit longer guys just a little bit you know it's only like what uh, three hours and 20 minutes so Come on, let's hurry up, Mr. Vampire. Taking a long time, you're taking a long time as always. Ooh you're taking a long time, you're taking a long time as always. Ooh you're taking a long time, you're taking a long time. Hurry up, come on, Vampire. Hurry up, Vampire. There we go. Nope, not yet. Come on. There we go. Okay, so let's start curing some people. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Do you need any assistance? It I'm shocked. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to. Could this be? It is much more than a scarf to me. It is, it the, is only the only thing, thing that, connects that connects me to, me my, to family my family and my so much. Goodbye, miss. Huh. That's interesting. What the? I completely lost out on stuff for that. Good evening, doctor. I completely lost out on stuff for that. Goodbye, miss. That's ridiculous. Oh, that is so stupid. Oh, I don't like that one bit game. I don't like that one bit. I gave her back her scarf. Why would that close away a hint? You look so pale, my lord. That is so ridiculous. Oh my god, that is oh, I'm not happy with that. That's for sure. Down this fucking dark alleyway. Remember the resistance. Okay. Just kill these guys here. I'm trying to find Albert, you guys, and no one can. Fuck me. You just gas your own friend there? Come on. What's. This guy's actually a real danger to me. Okay. That was actually kind of bad. He did quite a bit of damage to me. Um. I resistance to blood, sadly. It sucks for me. Give me some time to generate my stamina pile, please. Almost, probably actually could have killed me there if he wanted to. Honestly, could have easily like just bit me and took all of his health back from me. But uh, I wasn't gonna let that happen. Okay. I don't know which neighborhood I'm starting to enter into, but it's not a good one, that's for sure.
Oh, a hatchet. Is that a weapon? It is not. It is a weapon. That looks like that can be a little bit fun once upgraded. Strat. How to kill beasts easily. Use a club. How to kill easily. Use a club. How to beat the game easily. Use a club. Vampire. The only game where all your problems are solved by a club. Actually, no, it's probably not the only game. Oh, let's finish him off then. The nice good bite. Well, his friend just stands there and watches you. All it takes to kill. All it takes to kill. That guy dead? Can I actually go through this door? It looks like you could, because they're really drawing a lot of attention to it, but you can't. Interesting. Not very oftenly done in games like this, you know, where they draw attention to stuff that can't really, that's of no use, I guess. But oh well. They can light the game however they feel like. Their game. Uh, let's go this way. Really? That close to town? And you guys don't have any hunters trying to stop this shit. It's locked, all right. That's not very smart of you guys, you know that, right? Like, it's extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Oh, where's Mr. Albertson? Benjamin Palmer. You know what? Fuck it. We'll find the guy in the next stream. I, I think I know who he is. I think it's the guy who, like, we talked to and we're like, hey, can we come into your house? Or whatever. And he said, no, my dad doesn't like people. So I think that's the guy that it's talking about. So yeah, we'll see. Um. Anyways, until next time, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, awesome. Or stream, technically. It's mainly video for those of you who are watching after it's already been posted, which is just fine, you know, if you want. That's the whole point of it. Um, so does both, you know, making it easier for me to do things. There we go. I'm sorry, there's absolutely nothing here. There we go, five shillings. Really? That is all you're gonna give me, game? Five shillings? What kind of peasant do you think I am? Oh my god, that's so stupid. I do all this work for nothing. Nothing, I tell ya. No one knows how to respect the doctor anymore. But no, seriously, that's all? I mean, that gate is locked. How do I get to the gate from here? I wonder if maybe that's to do something with going up here, like if I teleport up here if there is another vantage point. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Other than that vantage point, what else is there? Uh, yeah. I just have to get into that place from behind, I guess. Oh well, that's all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, awesome. If not, oh well, too bad, so sad. And uh, yeah, as always, hope you guys have a good day. And uh... Goodbye, you know. See you tomorrow if you're there. Hope you are. Uh, main quest, local investigation, danger system, event mission. Yeah, cool. Anyways, see you later, everybody. Uh, at least, see you next time. Any eavesdroppings I can do? 
Oh, there's a lot of areas. A lot of areas. Anyways, bye bye, everybody. <sighs>